like a dog giving it table scraps and thinking it has a stomach of steel? Well, think again. You could be causing more harm than good. Dr. Jill Rubin, our mobile vet, joins us live from our clinic in Orangevale with Kitty Nutrition. Good morning, Dr. Jill. Good morning. So uh, my kitty cat, I, I like to mix it up. I like to give her some wet food and a little bit of dry food, but I like to give her treats. And I kind of like to let her graze. What do I need to be doing? Well, you've got it right, actually. The mixture is good. A lot of people make the mistake of feeding just dry food. You know, it's kind of like Captain Crunch in a bowl every day. And look how dry that is without milk. So, I mean, it's really important to add your, not milk, but you want to add moisture to your pet's diet. It's really important. You don't want to feed a dry food diet because it can cause kidney disease, dry skin, fatty acid deficiencies. So nice, rich meats, things of that nature, about 12.5% protein a day for your kitty cat is a really good idea to start with. And then don't just use one source. Come on over, let me show you. Little Rex just loves this tilapia that I cooked for her. Oh, I oh, bet. Captain Crunch. <laughs> that kitty cat this, eats well. <laughs> this kitty cat eats well. This is some ground beef. This is turkey in the crock pot. Check this out. I mean, it's just great. And this has about 15% vegetables in it. Cats are obligate carnivores, so you want to make sure they do get some carbohydrates and fats, but you also want to make sure that they have meat. And you want to stay away from the grain. That's what people make the mistake about is too much grain in their diet makes them obese can give them kidney disease and diabetes. Can you add a little bit of water to the dry food if you just have the dry food and you don't want to spend the extra money or should you be buying wet food as well? Well, I think wet food's a good idea. Make sure, again, it's a good quality wet food and you check the internet now because a lot of foods are being recalled. But how easy is it to cook up a little bit of turkey in a crock pot and then you can add some of these other great products for amino acids, uh, vitamins, all sorts of minerals. You always want to add something, a well balanced. And I have some products out on the table that are awesome Standard Process, RX Vitamins, New Pet Plus. These are all great for your cat and they like them. They're very nutritionally sound for your animal. Okay. So, Dr. Jill, when it comes to feeding time, is it better to have a set meal for the kitty cat or is it okay to let them graze all day? Well, I think it's a good idea to let them graze as long as they don't get too fat. And you want to make sure they get some exercise. A lot of people don't let their cats get exercised and so they get fat. A little bit of food grazing and then make sure to supplement again with the wet because wet food's about 70% moisture. So, you need that moisture to keep their kidneys healthy. All right, Dr. Jill, thank you so much. And if you've got a